Hi, my name is Hananta Diraman Shah, and today I will explain and demonstrate to you about the daily assessment. But before everything begins, my name is Hananta Diraman Shah, and first of all, let's thank to Almighty God, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, because God's blessing, we can do the certification and competition with a good condition. And also my special honor for Dr. Eng Imam Sutrisno STMT for the opportunity that has been given to us. Okay, let's uh, move into the daily assessment about sensor and actuator. First, uh, the item of the sensor is LMT Kalima, PTC, LDR, RTD. And the actuator is servo, stepper motor, and brushless DC motor. Okay, first I will begin from the LM35. LM35 is a temperature sensor that it is very leader. I mean leader is every increase of the temperature, the voltage in millivolt will be increased to for about 10 millivolt every degree in celsius okay i mean if the if the 20 degree celsius is 0 0.2 millivolt every every increase about one degree of the celsius the voltage in millivolt will be increased for about 10 millivolt too LMT Kalima is very linear and very suitable for the remote application and the uh, yes mo oh, mobile application and um, some kind of prototype that using for the linear application because it is very simple to use but it is LMT Gilema has a limit about um, boundaries because the range about the LMT Gilema sensor is very uh, very narrow, very tight because LMT Gilema is has a narrow um, range like that. Okay, next into the positive temperature or PTC PTC is a temperature sensor too but that makes different with LM35 in LM35 every change about the temperature will be dip, will be changed about the voltage but in uh, RTD every every change about the about the temperature will be changed about the resistance because it is linear with the resistance RTD sensor will be um, suitable for the industrial application and for the big prototype that use a big range because RTD PT100 has a big range like this from minus 200 until 850 degree in celsius and that's very suitable for industrial because every change about the temperature will be changed about the resistance too and it's very suitable for industrial application that need about uh, resistance counting pt100 rtd but if you want to use PT100 RTD, you need uh, some kind of more circuit for about the transmitter because, uh, in my humble opinion, PT100 RTD is harder than LM35 for the application and implementation. Okay, like that. So next, move into a. LDR maybe. Uh -huh, LDR. Oh, I forgot to explain to you about um, if we want to count about voltage out 
in PTC and it is the formula voltage out is same like voltage in times resistance 2 divided by resistance 1 plus resistance 2 I mean like if you see this is uh, 100 degree I mean 100 degree about PTC nickel so if 100 degree the resistance is one 1000 like 1k one and the r2 is 1k so v out is 5 volt times 100 divided by 100 plus 100 and the result is 2.5 volt like that okay let's move into a light depending resistor or LDR uh, this is different with another sensor because LDR or light depending resistor is a radiance sensor so if we discuss about RTDPT100 every change about the temperature will be increase the resistance too but in LDR or light like depending resistor and the radiance or the flux from the radiance will be changed about the resistance too but the difference is um, every change about the amount of about amount of the illumination or the looks will be changed about the resistance but in opposite from before like it is linear but in LDR is the opposite about the graph it's opposite and kind of curvature kind of curvature like this so every increase about the light will be decrease about the resistance and vice versa every every dark about the amount of the bright of the illumination or the looks um, will be increase the resistance so in night or dark night time the resistance about the LDR is very high but in bright sunlight like you shoot about the um, spotlight or the flashlight the resistance will be decrease because the curvature is opposite the graph is opposite like this okay let's move into a thermocouple type T it is PTC resistant temperature uh, like a temperature sensor before every change about the temperature will be changed about the resistance too but that makes different with uh, PT100 RTD PT100 resistance temperature is unlinear and this is curvature and kind of difficult to make a formula and to count about the resistance because it is very curve is very different from before like it's unlinear really unlinear and the graph is curvature is very fluctuative so uh, in 40 degrees celsius the resistance is one is around almost 1k until it reach for about 100 thousand and after that the resistance is very increased highly and you must to pay attention about the blue metric dots here it is the room temperature so you must to calibrate the sensor is very hard to use in my humble opinion but it's very suitable for the industrial that use for the high durability and capability of the temperature sensor because PTC resistant temperature is very best for the durability so it it is suitable for the industrial application too in my humble opinion oh.
okay let's move into the actuator the first we discuss about the brushless DC motor if we see here the brushless DC motor is the motor that use a coil but the coil is um, without the cage I mean this is brushless DC motor that usually suitable for the drone motor so it can drive and the spin fastly and we can control this uh, speed of the motor using a pulse width modulation so if you control the pulse width modulation it will control the it will control the speed of the motor too like if we see for the oscilloscope we can see and we can uh, check about the motor DC motor if we change a amount of the pulse width modulation it will change about the spin of the motor too and next about the servo motor servo motor is a motor that the spin of the rotate of the polarity is depending about the degree in every rotation so if you want to rotate the servo for about 10 degree it can be handled with the servo motor and if you want to um, control about the rotation in the servo motor you can control with a pulse width modulation too like you can see we can check we can uh, control the rotation in the servo motor use a pulse width modulation okay next in the stepper motor stepper motor also known as step motor or stepping motor I mean it is a brushless DC electric motor too but it is divide a full rotation into a number of equal step so it is different uh, that was make different with the brushless DC motor before hmm. because in stepper motor it is a brushless DC that divides a full rotation into a number of equal step so the motor's position uh, can be um, command to move and hold at one of this step uh, without any position sensor for feedback or you can see uh, or you can set if step motor is an open loop controller as long as the motor is carefully sized to the application in respect to torque and speed so you must to keep the torque and the speed like this and you can um spin the motor using a pulse width modulation too so it is signal generator so you can um change amount of the frequency and the level like this i think that's all of my presentation about the sensor and actuator hopefully you can understand it and wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh